I'm at the Polish Institute of International Affairs. This is a top uh, institute here in Poland uh, talking about uh, foreign policy. And with me is Damien and Sara, who are experts here uh, in various subjects. And let's talk about the big visit, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit. Uh, he travels to Poland later this week. Uh, starting with you, uh, Damien, sir, my question to you is on the economic cooperation. What kind of economic cooperation do you see between Poland and India? I think that economic relations between Poland and India it are, it's, they are untapped. There is so huge potential in uh, terms of trade and investment between our country, uh, which has not been yet developed, that this uh, visit by Prime Minister Modi uh, can be a spark or some kind of political signal to make those relations um, uh, closer. So there is, uh, India is not a... An, very important partner for now for Poland in terms of trade when it comes to Asian uh, countries. There are much more, more trade and investment relations between Poland and Japan or uh, South Korea or in terms of trade between Poland and China. But I think that uh, the uh, quite rapid development uh, of the Polish economy and Indian economy makes us a good partners for the future in terms of trade and investment. Uh, so, um, uh, now the Polish entrepreneurs perceive India as a big market, huge market with great opportunities, but a difficult one. Mm -hmm. uh, the one which needs uh, a lot of attention, a lot of time, a lot of capital mm -hmm. to invest in to get some profits. And not many, many of them are prepared for this. Uh, there are not many uh, large companies in Poland or a huge one, the, you know, the champions which can be, uh, which can easily um, go abroad and uh, make some quite big share of foreign um, foreign uh, uh, markets, ex uh, foreign markets, and access to those markets and be a, a important player. There are some, but they are uh, they are uh, working on the on the um, uh, limited scale. And I think India for for them in many areas, in many sectors, when it comes to from agriculture to from by the machine. Um, building materials, uh, environmental uh, solutions. I think the India is a, could be a huge partner, but they have to get knowledge about the, uh, the market, about how to get, uh, how to do business in India, about the business culture in India, because it's so various, so um, um, difficult country for us, very, uh, um, you know, with a various. At, uh, ethnicities, culture, mm -hmm. languages, that Polish companies have to be prepared for uh, getting uh, to, to Indian market, to trade with Indian partners, to invest capital, but also to get capital, to, to, to attract cap capital to Poland. And I think the uh, relations on the political level, um, at the prime minister's uh, level, will, can, get, can give a signal for the Polish companies that India can be a prospective partner and maybe some barriers for the Polish companies when it comes to non-trade barriers, some regulations, can be uh, overcome or can be presented for the Polish, uh, Polish business community as an opportunity as, and not an obstacle to get knowledge how, the, how we can um, be active in India. And I think it can, be, it, can, it can bring profits for both sides, for Indian and for Polish companies. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of things where India and Poland can cooperate when it comes to economic relationship. India, of course, is the fifth uh, um, largest economy. You're the 21st largest economy and plan to become the 18th largest. But I'm coming to you um, on the West Asia situation. Now it impacts India, it impacts Poland as well. And um, focus during last year's G20 presidency from the Indian side was a connectivity project that connects India, West Asia, Middle East to Europe and mm -hmm. Poland, of course. So what's your sense about this project which was announced last year in New Delhi? So I think uh, this project has a, has a lot of potential for Poland and that uh, comes with, I think there is a lot of similarities with what Damien says in terms of Polish relationship with the Middle East or West Asia, as you said. Uh, but maybe to make a small parable, um, we are now in the process of untapping this potential of, uh, of the relationship. However, Poland for now is, let's say, on the receiving end of this relationship. So uh, definitely 
definitely we appreciate that uh, Middle Eastern countries and especially Saudi Arabia replaced uh, in the, I, I would say to the large extent, uh, the oil that we were uh, before 2022 importing from Russia. And last year, Saudi Arabia became the, our biggest uh, importer of oil to Poland. Um, and, um, and there is a lot of agreements that are being uh, signed uh, throughout last years in terms of energy cooperation, but also larger economic cooperation. So there is an interest from the Middle East to invest in Poland, but just as Damian said about India, there is still something missing uh, from our side to invest in, uh, in the Middle East countries. And uh, from the perspective of, of Polish entrepreneurs, definitely the Gulf states uh, have the biggest potential here. Um, however, the Middle East, the Arab countries are also very uh, demanding in terms of a different culture of doing business, in, term, in terms of uh, different ways of connecting to people, of uh, starting the business relationships. So this also also requires a lot of education, a lot of uh, support from, uh, from Polish government, from Polish diplomacy. These things are all happening, uh, but uh, what I also see quite important as maybe, so to say, not only the economic part of the relationship, but something that could come with it, with developing the, the business partnership, is also the general sort of, um, let's say, feeling of getting know about different culture and about different perspectives because uh, since 2022 we also find it very important to um, to make the Polish and Ukrainian perspective about the war that happens in Ukraine and that Russia started closer for the citizens of the Middle East. So definitely we look upon this economic cooperation, we look upon this political cooperation as also something, as also let's say a, a road um, to also bring this perspective of uh, how Russian aggression on Ukraine is dangerous for the global order, uh, order in general, um, closer to the citizens of the of the Arab countries. Mm -hmm. um, my final question to both of you and briefly um, uh, asking you, uh, when it comes to Asia Pacific or Indo-Pacific as it's known in uh, New Delhi and other capitals in the region, uh, where does Poland want to have more of its political investments going? Beijing or New Delhi? I know it's a tricky question because both are large countries, uh, both are influential countries, but uh, India is a country which is a democratic country. The other may or might not share similar sentiments. So where will Polish policymakers go closer to? I think that in Poland's interest, and I'm, I think in the interest of many countries in the world, including India, is to keep the international uh, order, which is based on rules, which is based on international law, kept intact, kept in place. So it's in the interest of many countries uh, to defend itself from the uh, aggressions, from the attacks of the other countries. And what, uh, what Sara mentioned uh, about the Ukraine and, um, and Russia and the Russia's invasion of Ukraine, we see exactly here in, uh, in our part of Europe how uh, um, broken the law, the international law, the international rules, how much uh, suffering and uh, death it can, uh, it can bring. Mm -hmm. So th the crucial uh, issue in relations with countries in Indo-Pacific, in Asia-Pacific, uh, in uh, previous years, and what I mentioned before, the economic relations still are very important. But I think the security issues are now at the top. We have to know that our partners are also um, uh, devoted to upkeeping the, the international world order which can makes us all safer. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's uh, very important for Poland to uh, stop Russia's aggression of Ukraine, to make sure that it will, uh, Russia will not um, get any benefits from, from, uh, from this war, because it will also affect the other parts of the world, including South Asia, Southeast Asia, East Asia, uh, and it will prevent other, this kind of uh, aggressions in the future. And I think in, Polish, in, in Poland's interest is also to keep peace in Asia, 
in South Asia, in Southeast Asia. It will also, uh, any kind of conflict in this part of the world, it also affect us when it comes to economic terms, because of maritime uh, roads, because of the disruptions in global value chains. Uh, and I think the Poland would like to um, uh, develop their economic relations with many countries in, uh, in Asia, as especially such a, as I mentioned, with such huge opportunities as, uh, which gives us such huge opportunities as, as India. But I think it's also very important to see this link between economic and security issues. And I think in Polish foreign policy, this aspect will be, um, will be underlined in coming years. Mm -hmm. uh, this aspect will be underlined. Uh, Ma'am, last word to you in terms of the West Asia and Africa as well. Uh, briefly, if you see a cooperation where India and Poland can work together, uh, because India has similar mechanism with other countries including here in Europe yeah so definitely I would say IMEC is uh, one of the platforms on which I believe uh, Poland uh, could build on because uh, this um, corridor brings all of us together right it would go from India through the Middle Eastern countries and these are the countries that we actually have the closest cooperation with uh, in terms of like the whole region um, yeah, but um, I would also say that uh, from Poland's perspective, it's also important to look upon India as a voice uh, important for a global south, but as a voice that is also coming from a democratic country. And I think, uh, well, when you look at, uh, on the West Asia, the democracy is clearly missing from, from the picture over there. Uh, so I believe over here, Poland and India have a great potential to sort of build on this uh, um, common experience with building democracy, upholding democracy as, a, as an important part of, uh, of sharing peace and, um, and respecting uh, the, uh, um, the global order um, and um, as something that can be used in the you know, political cooperation in the region, not only the economic one, but uh, as a, let's say, the common point of, uh, of reference. Thank you so much, ma'am, for speaking to Vion. Um, lovely speaking to um, experts here at this institute. So um, clearly, when it comes to the Indian Prime Minister's visit, focus will be on several things, economics, West Asia, Africa. Uh, and of course, both countries have uh, growing interest in how they can work together in an increasingly unstable global order. With video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in Warsaw, Poland.